So deals this week on Switch then, and we're taking a look at 10 awesome indie titles, all priced under $5 or your local equivalent. And as always, I've left the pricings for both the US and the UK, as well as Australia, Canada and Europe at the top of the screen. I'll also be announcing the winner of this week's eShop gift card, so stay tuned for that one. But without further ado, drop a like and subscribe for more Switch deals and reviews, and let's get into it. So first up then we have a rhythm game, a genre which doesn't seem to get much love these days but has always been one of my faves, but Frederick the Resurrection of Music is a classic piano rhythm game similar to the Beatmania series which as you'd expect has you tapping buttons or the touchscreen in time to the on-screen markers and the gameplay is pretty straightforward stuff. No complicated mechanics, just jam away and enjoy some catchy arrangements of Frédéric Chopin's greatest classical pieces, but each of which uses a different musical genre. Where this one really stands out though is with its storyline and its hilariously terrible voice acting, and it's just an absolute joy to play through because of it. But the second game follows Sue, and the third game, whilst letting us down a little with the narrative, does have some of my favourite music renditions in it. But all three games are on sale right now, with at least 60% off. Next up then we have Kamiko, an action adventure title with a pixelated art style reminiscent of classic 8-bit games but with a bit more of a modern touch to them. And this one combines elements of exploration, puzzle solving and combat and its gameplay revolves around navigating through various shrine themed levels, battling enemies and solving puzzles to unlock new areas. The game is known for its fast paced gameplay and challenging combat encounters though, encouraging players to find efficient ways to defeat enemies, but you're given a choice of three shrine maidens to play as, each with their own unique weapons and abilities, giving them uniquely different playstyles to master. Some solid boss battles in this one and buttery smooth controls providing plenty of fluidity to combat, and it's relatively short but definitely worth play. So if you're looking for an old school beat em up experience to play through with a friend, look no further than Super Punch Patrol, a game from the mind of Bertel Herberg, developer of the fantastic Gunman Clyde and Extermination Force games. In an ode to the classics though, this one has you taken to the streets as one of three police enforcers, including the hench beast that is Anders Punch, and then fighting your way through gangs of street thugs and henchmen as you endeavour to clean up the streets and take down the evil crime syndicate. It's pretty straightforward stuff to be honest, punch and kick your way to glory, but the game has Bertel's signature stylistic visual aesthetics making it really stand out from the rest, especially some of the more zany enemies in it, and while not being quite as polished as the most recent Streets of Rage game, for a budget offering, in my opinion it's one of the best games in the genre. So for a dose of arcade action this week, I recommend checking out Galacticon, a high score chaser styled after the retro arcade games of the early 80s, both visually and gameplay wise, as you attempt to rescue and extract tiny humans as the Galacticon, a deadly legendary creature, half god, half machine. The gameplay is solid in this one though, consisting of two separate phases, the first being the rescue segment which has you flying around as Galacticon, shooting up enemies and filling your rescue ships with humans, before jetting off to the next location, passing through meteor fields and battling bosses, and it's really easy to pick up but hard to master and hella addictive. The game also has local and worldwide high score tales to compete in, so plenty to keep you playing run after run. Now for something a little more chill, our next game, Tiny Lands, is essentially a 3D spot the difference game in which you're tasked with identifying discrepancies between two 3D dioramas, and you're able to interact with each scene, rotating them to adjust the angle or zooming in and out of them to find these differences. Each of them though is presented in a wonderful low poly art style and are filled with dynamic objects to really bring the scenes to life, and there's some great variety with the themes of them, with my personal favourite being the Japan themed ones, but it's a great game to just chill and spend a few hours with, and at only a couple of dollars, it's well worth picking up. 
So the winning comment for the $10 eShop voucher this week comes to us from WatcherKFabe10, who commented saying that they'd picked up Cosmic Defenders based on my best co-ops video. And this is one that I've yet to play with my own family, but it looks like an awesome little co-op game with some vibrant visuals. To claim your prize though, either email me at the address found on the channel's about page or jump onto my Discord server shown on screen now, and I'll be dropping some more giveaways in next month's deals videos, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out to be in with a chance of winning. Our next game then is Paper Trace, and I know what you're thinking, just another Tetris knockoff right? Well not quite. You see, while Paper Trace does take influence from tile matching games of yesteryear, namely the Columns games, what sets this one apart is that the tile matching mechanics actually operate in more than just the eight cardinal directions, and after filling the screen, the game doesn't just end, your tiles are actually pushed back, allowing new rows to be matched with the tiles behind them. Reaching a certain score threshold also grants additional layers, allowing you to create even bigger chains, and there are also a few power-ups thrown into the mix to destroy rows and columns with. But the game is not without challenge, as new colours are added to the board, the higher your score gets. The game also supports two-player versus mode, making it a great one to play against a friend. But all in all, it puts a new and unique spin on a classic formula, and it's well worth a play in my opinion. So for another hit of nostalgia, or two in this case, vertical scrolling shmups Gunbird 1 and 2 are currently sporting 40% off, and this is a series that originally released in Japanese arcades in the mid 90s, but was ported to the Switch in 2017. If you like your shmups though, these two have plenty to offer to both veterans of the genre and those looking to dip their feet for the first time, as the game has seven different difficulty options on offer and a bunch of accessibility options to make things easier. The game also comes with a two player mode, with each player getting to select from five larger than life characters in the first game and seven in the second, each with their own upgradable attacks and specials, but in classic shmup style, you'll be blasting your way through legions of enemies, dodging hails of bullets, and taking on epic bosses. The second game also has a variety of endings depending on which combination of characters you choose to play as, so a decent amount of replayability with it. So Lumo is our next tile, and one which I've had my eye on for a while, but the game is an isometric platformer come puzzle game which takes influence from the classics, as you work your way through over 400 rooms, avoiding hazards and solving puzzles as you go. To help you with easing into the unusual perspective though, the game has three control schemes to select from and drops you in at the shallow end before steadily ramping up the difficulty, but it also does some really creative things with the platforming and puzzle mechanics to keep you on your toes. And while the game's perspective does make things a little tricky, thankfully you have unlimited lives. That is unless you complete the game and are still looking for a challenge and decide to take on old school mode, which drops the infinite lives and features no save system. A great little throwback though, and from what I've heard, well worth a play. So I've previously covered this one with both a full review on the channel and in my Dollar Deal series, but Phaeton Betula is a surreal exploration game in which you're given the simple task of feeding a magical birch tree in order to dictate the future, and so it's your job to go out and find something to nourish its roots with. The game is styled after the 32-bit PlayStation 1 era games, and the developer has done a fantastic job of capturing the look and feel of those games in all the jaggy-edged glory. But Face and Betula is all about exploring the world to discover different combinations of materials, having some minor puzzle solving elements to it, and the game has 10 unique endings to discover. But it's a weird and wonderful journey, and for the price, one not to be missed. Our final game today then is Fury Unleashed, a fantastic little roguelike action platformer set in a comic book universe, whose creator has gone a little mental, so now it's down to you to find out why and fix it. The gameplay in this one though is fast paced and action filled, mixing both melee and ranged combat, and a combo system which has you taking down enemies as quickly as possible to earn shields and protect you from harm is a relatively challenging one though too, with some tough enemies and even tougher boss fights, 
all of which rely on your skill as a player to dodge incoming projectiles and take them down. But the roguelike mechanics have you finding new and powerful weapons in each run and earning stat points which you can then pump into skill trees to increase your chances of success. It's also a great one to play in co-op mode and having a second player along for the ride will really help you out, but a solid roguelike through and through. And that my friends just about does it for this week's roundup of deals. A little later than usual, but hopefully I was able to highlight something that tickled your fancy. Let me know what you're picking up this week though, down in the comments section below. As always though, drop a like if you enjoyed this one, and subscribe for more deals videos, as well as Nintendo Switch reviews, top lists and scam game warnings. But until next time, thanks once again for watching, take care of yourselves, and game on. Thank you.